Good day and a warm welcome to Galaxy News. My name is Sandra Nomosaga Kwabi Kutso, standing in for Vuyo Retu, and this is your headlines on News in 5. Ramaphosa vows renewal at the fourth State of the Nation's address in Cape Town and the EFF defends decision to hold Sona hostage. Metric pupils suspended after sex video goes viral. And racist holiday maker Adam Catavellos expresses remorse for his K-word slim. And later on we'll give you a sports wrap-up. Into our first story, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced that government has set into motion plans to ensure that early reading programs are gathering momentum. Ramaphosa, speaking at the delayed State of the Nation's address in Cape Town on Thursday, said that the programs would ensure that every 10-year-old needs to have to be able to read for a meaning. The president also touched on numerous issues, including the state of the government entities, before adding that he will be establishing a university in Ekuruleni as well as nine TVET colleges across the country. Ramaphosa also say that one of the government's other key ambitions will be ensuring that people live in safe, stable and crime-free environments and will therefore prioritize combating crime, which is the economic growth hindrance. The next story, the economic freedom fighters who ejected themselves out of the parliament after disrupting the SONA proceedings have defended their decision to hold the State of the Nation's address hostage. The EFF, who stood on several points of orders, have opposed, among other things, the presence of the apartheid president F.W. D. Kleck and reiterated their call for the dismissal of the enterprise minister Pravin Godan. On the other news, two grade 12 learners from Worst Ridge High School in Rodebot, the west of Johannesburg, were suspended on Thursday after a video of them allegedly engaging in sexual acts went viral on social media. According to Gauteng Education Department spokesperson Steve Mabona, initial investigations were conducted and revealed that the incident happened at the Westgate Shopping Center last Friday. Johannesburg businessman Adam Catavellos told the Randbeck Magistrate Court on Thursday that the K-word gives him chills and makes him uncomfortable. Catavellos pleaded guilty to and was convicted of criminal injury for racist comments in December 2019. The notorious businessman gained fame when a video he recorded on a holiday in Greece went viral after he bragged that there was not even a single K-word in sight at the beach. He described taking a video as disgusting, yeah he's right, and something he would never do again. Really? Anyway, moving on to sports, Orlando Pirate duo Joseph Zinbawa and forward Govardin Nomhango have been named as coach and player of the month, respectively for the month of January, the PSL announced on Thursday afternoon. Moving on to rugby, the World Rugby confirmed that it has postponed the upcoming Hong Kong and Singapore round of the HSBC Rugby 7 Series 2020, scheduled for April 19 to October, citing health and safety precautions amidst the COVID-19 outbreak. And this were our last stories of the day. Please do catch us on www.galaxyun.tv and also catch us on our social media as appearing on your screen. My name is Sandra Namosaga Kwabi Kutso. See you next time.